Hello and welcome to another episode of Project Zen. Today is actually quite a big one because we have our first mod, and uh, which is the the exhaust. Uh, we have an exhaust coming in. Hopefully that will get done by today. And uh, as you remember in the first episode, we had a little leakage in the engine. It was leaking oil. We finally found the problem, and it was this. This is the current distributor. Uh, to the engine and uh, this basically manages the timing of the spark plugs because in olden days the ECU did not connect to the spark plug so this actually mounts to the engine uh, produces current and uh, manages the timing of the spark plugs this is uh, hopefully going to be solving the oil leakage problem and all of that to come in the episode so please stay tuned and keep Bye. watching is the current distributor which will be fitting right over here and you see these two little outings over here will those will connect to the camshaft while the camshaft rotates it will spin this little thing and out here you we, we will be connecting the spark plugs and the power supply unit that will figure out the timing of the spark plugs and uh, give out the power according to the timing set which is right here as I will show you soon. Once you fit it in, you just uh, plug in the spark plugs, pl plug in the power supply and everything should move perfectly. Before we used to have that OC uh, o-ring problem that was leaking oil but now hopefully that should also be solved. So let's see. As we were doing that, a package was delivered to the shop and it was the exhaust from Automec from Mumbai. So in cars like these where most of the wizardry is mechanic, uh, there's a lot of fine tuning and a lot of uh, things that need to be done according to feel and uh, placing the current distributor is exactly that. Right now we are trying to figure out what kind of angle we need to put the current distributor in completely flush with the camshaft for it uh, to, for us to understand what kind of firing is going on. Uh, this process is very much above us and uh, very far away from our realm of knowledge. So I'm going to try and find someone who can explain it and uh, I will put them in the clip right now. Just a second. A few inches later. Okay, so basically adjusting the spark timing is not that complicated. So like you can see, we will be we were fiddling around with the distributor. So this has this much of play. So it can go either a little bit more anti-clockwise or clockwise. If you take it anti-clockwise, what happens is your ignition timing is delayed and you take it as much as possible ahead so the ignition timing is advanced. So loosening these two bolts when the engine is running, you have to play around a little bit to find that soft spot. Now this completely what you have to do is you have to do it by feel. We don't have a computer or something to check that the ignition timing, the spark timing is right. So this is completely by feel and it's quite an old mechanism even though it's an MPFI system. And uh, this system is commonly found in the older generation Maruti engines. For example, the older H-Team, the older Gypsy and even the old Baleno. Since they have a similar engine layout but the capacities and the minor things here and there are different. 
So that's how you adjust the uh, ignition timing and the spark timing for the vehicle. Now off to changing the exhaust. As I said. <laughs> So in front of me, I've got the new exhaust system. As you can see, it's a full system. We've got it from the header all the way to the end can. And uh, you can see two mufflers. One is a muffler and the other one is a cat con. So that uh, we still have performance, but it's not that loud and raspy because after all, it's going to be Aniket's mom who's going to drive it and we don't want any insults from uh, auntie. So this is going to be quite uh, pretty similar to what the car sounds right now a little bit higher and a bit louder on the higher uh, rpm and we're gonna have a bit more performance between two to the two to four thousand rpm because the engine does have a little bit of a dead spot in the middle this should help it and no noise apart from that so let's just put it on and see how it sounds But the thing is the the threading only is gone. Hmm, yeah, yeah. I'll try this one. Are you grinding machine for my bus? Situational report, all the surgeons are assessing the body as you can see because our uh, during the removal of our header we needed to take the heat shield out and as you can see we have not removed the front of the car, we have been trying to remove it like that. The two bolts on top of the heat shield came out no problem but there is one bolt right in the middle of the uh, heat shield that we are trying to remove but uh, the threads have pretty much not cooperated with us so we are going to be trying to do we are going to be trying to do some sort of jugad but i don't know what's going to be going on so i will let you guys know on the progress and let's see uh, how how it goes maybe maybe today is just the end it just ends like this Once the stock header of the car was out, it was pretty smooth from there on. Everything slipped right into place and the exhaust was fitted quite easily. The only problem was that removing the header took so long that by the time we installed the new exhaust, it was almost sunset and everyone at Auto Desir as well as in the film crew was so tired that we left without taking a shot of the exhaust. But we did film it for the next episode, so here is a sneak peek.
Well, that's it for this video. Watch out for the next episode where we learn all about the magic of paint correction and many more mod episodes to come. If you've enjoyed the series so far, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe for more such content. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Senna sprints away, Senna is trying to